fellow YouTubers, this is Utomosis here to give you my movie review for Thor. It starts off with Thor ending up on the planet Earth after a storm has came by, when he was banished by his father for disobeying his word not to trespass on the enemy's realm. And so he tries to find a way to get back to his home realm of Asgard. Can't say that without a straight face. His brother, Loki, finds out the dire truth about himself from his father, Odin, and so he just plans to take over both realms while trying to kill Thor in the long run. Now, being that this was directed by Kenneth Branagh, who's mostly notable for his Shakespearean adaptations like Hamlet and Henry V, I was really curious about it, and after watching it, it looked completely different compared to all his other films, aside from getting great performances out of the actors and the archaic language that some of them were speaking in. I have to say that Chris Hemworth was great as Thor, combining oafish and lyrical acting skills into one character, and the only movie that I've recognized him in was in the new Star Trek movie where he played James Kirk's father and that was quite a small role he was in. And one more thing I want to get out of the way before I go on is that Chris Hemworth as Thor looks like a kitty cat. <coughs> Natalie Portman was good filling in the role as the love interest to Thor and Kat Dennings was a decent comic relief in the movie. And I like the actors Dylan Skarsgård as the Doctor and Adrius Alba as the Gatekeeper in the realm of Asgard. I don't really have much to say about those two, but the actor that I praised the most in this movie was Anthony Hopkins as Odin. No matter what movie he's in, either if it's good, bad, or crap, Anthony Hopkins always gives a great performance in every one of them that I saw him in. And it was really neat to see Jeremy Renner in it as Hawkeye. And for some of you might be disappointed to see him just as a cameo and he's not wearing his signature costume in the movie. The fight scenes were done very well, although at one at the first one when Thor and the Asgardians are fighting against the ice giants. They used they used mostly close-ups during that part that I couldn't tell what was going on half the time. And this came from the guy who didn't know how to fence in Hamlet. The CG looked cool for the most part, specifically for the realm of Asgard and the realm of the Ice Giants, which the name I can't really pronounce at all. And people may complain that it's done with obvious CG. Well, of course it was, because if the whole thing was done practically, then, well, then they couldn't make the movie then, would they? Overall, I find Thor to be an awesome comic book movie, even when it's coming from a Shakespearean person like Bregnog, and there had been a couple references to Shakespeare, like when they were looking through a mythology story about Odin and the Frostbite people, and they even hinted through science that these Asgardians or gods aren't even gods, but they don't say it out front, but they just say that they're just super-powered humans from a different dimension. And my one complaint about it is the villain, because Loki, the brother of Thor, is a villain, and I wish that they could have chose some other villain from the comics, comic books and try and interpret that. I'm just saying that they could have used a better bad guy. And this was my first time when I sat through the theater even after the movie ended just so that I could watch the secret ending. And take my advice, don't do it. 
and I'm going to show you that secret ending or tell you about it right now. So for those of you that don't want me to spoil it for you, leave this video right now. Here it goes. We see Stellan Skarsgård's character go into the secret basement of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s organization to meet up with Nick Fury for him to show him the suitcase which inside it would mean unlimited power. And then he looks into the mirror reflection and he sees Loki on that mirror and that would give us a hint that he would become the bad guy in the Avengers movie. That's it. Out of five, I give it four out of five stars. So that's all for my review. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back later. Uto Moses, signing out.